Well, today we're going to be working with greatest common factor. There are three different methods you can choose to use for the greatest common factor. The first method we're going to show you is listing the factors. Let's say we want to find the greatest common factor of 28 and 36. We will first start by listing the factors of each of these numbers. The factors of 28 are 1, 2, 4, 7, and 28. The factors of 36 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 9, 12, 18, and 36. Now that we have our factors listed, we can look to see which ones we have in common. That would be 1, 2, and 4. Since 4 is the greatest of these numbers, our greatest common factor is 4. The next method we could use is prime factorization. We will need to find, use factor trees to find the prime factorization of 28 and 36. We have gone ahead and done that for you. The prime factorization of 28 is 2 times 2 times 7. The prime factorization of 36 is 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. Let's find the common factors. It looks like we have two sets of 2 in common. So 2 times 2 is 4. Therefore, the greatest common factor equals 4. The final method for finding greatest common factor would be a ladder method. Here, we're going to list both numbers that we are finding the greatest common factor of and make an upside down type division sign. We'll think to ourselves, what is a common factor of 28 and 36? 2 is one common factor. 2 goes into 28 14 times and 2 goes into 36 18 times. Then we'll ask ourselves, does anything go into 14 and 18? Yes, another 2. 2 goes into 14 7 times and 2 goes into 18 9 times. We ask ourselves, does 7 and 9 have a common factor? No, they do not. Therefore, we'll take the numbers on the outside of the ladder, multiply them together, and 2 times 2 is 4. Therefore, the greatest common factor is 4. This has been your tutorial on finding greatest common factor using listing, prime factorization, and the ladder method.